In this video now, I'm going to teach you how to keep your voiceover style instruction consistent all through your scene in Grog AI. First, we are going to look at how to keep the voiceover style instruction consistent when you're creating one single character. For example, this particular video. Oh, is a new day. Thank God that we are still alive. And then this is the scene two of this video. Bless us today, God and do not allow anything befall us. You can see that the voiceover is consistent all through the scenes. Then the second one, I'm going to show you how to keep the voiceover consistent when you are creating for two different characters speaking at the same time in one single scene. This is an example of the video I created. Mommy, what are we going to eat this morning? Don't worry, my dear. We'll find something nice. And then this is the second scene. Take this money and go to the market to get three tubers of yam so that we can cook. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in this video and I will do my best to explain in detail everything that you need to know for you to be able to get something like this. Now to get started, we are going to first go to ChatGPT because this is where everything starts. If you don't understand this first step, then you cannot do this. So just follow me along. Now I'll just go to my chat GPT. We are going to enter in an instruction. This prompt that I'm using is going to be on the screen so you can just copy that and use that. So when you type this, give me a voiceover style instruction for. After you write this, you are going to give a description of the character that you are going after. For example, if you are going for an elderly woman, you write that there. If you are going for a young lady, you write that there. If you are going for a little child, you also write that there. Give that description. If this person is Nigerian, you include that. If this person is American, you include that. Any country at all, you are going to include that here. Now, see the full prompt. You can see that. So, I've given my description right there. So, I'm going to send that. Now, this is the style instruction I've been giving. Sometimes, you are going to get a long voiceover style instruction but what you will do, you ask the AI to shorten it. So, you can see right there, the AI has shortened this voiceover style instruction for me. You, any of these that you want to use, you can now go ahead to use it. So, now, let's assume that you have your image ready let's go ahead to now animate this image and to do that we'll go to grog ai if you don't have this app you can go to your play store and download it i don't know if it's available for those using iphone yet but for those using laptop you can go to the website directly on your google chrome grogai.com and you get access to this when you get to grog ai this is the interface you are going to see and when you get to this particular interface you need to tap on where you see imagine and from here you can then go ahead to upload the image you want to use and for this particular image i'm going to tap down here to upload my image then you are going to upload the image so this is the image i'm going to use immediately you upload your image is going to start converting that image to a video you allow it to finish converting the image to a video and then in the downside here where you see this text box area this is where you enter in your instruction that is the what you want the character to say so in the downside i'm going to tap on that and then i'll paste in my style instruction before we paste in your style instruction this is what you should type you are going to type voice over style instruction and then put a semicolon like this and then we are going to now go to um, chat GPT and copy that our um, voiceover style instruction. Copy this one. And then you come back to the Grog AI. After the style instruction, we are going to input that. After that, this is where you type in what you want this character to say. So, for example, we want her to say, she says, you need to input this first, she says. Then in, in the um, quote, you are going to write what you want her to say. Okay, so this is what I want her to say. Now, let's send this and let's see the result. Why that is still generating? If you haven't liked this video or subscribed to this channel, do that now. And let me know in the comment section of this video, any topic or any video you want me to create. You can ask your question in the comment section of this video and I will answer them. Alright, so our video is ready. Let's just take a preview of the video. Oh, it's a new day. Thank God that we are still alive. Now, let's still go ahead using this same voiceover style instruction to generate another dialogue. And let's see if the voice is still going to be the same. So, we are going to just come down here. First, let's download that one. Then, come down here. Keep the voiceover style instruction the same. Do not change anything. 
what you should change here is what the character is saying so for example all right so let's generate that and let's see if this voice is still going to be the same why that is still generating before we come back to check that let's go to um chat gpt so for this part we are we want to generate um a voiceover style instruction for two characters these two characters you need to specify your two characters the first character is going to be a little girl and then the second character is going to be um a mother so we are going to say give me a voiceover style instruction separately for a gay child and a mother so it depends on your own character what you want to get okay so we have gotten this so you can see this is the gay child use a soft bright girl's voice innocent light and gently expressive then for the mother it says use a calm warm nigerian mother's voice so before we um, go on with that let's check our voice video Bless us today, God, and do not allow anything before us. You can see the, the first voice and the second voice is the same. So this is how you go on generating for single character. Now let's go ahead and generate for um, two characters. And to do that, we need to upload the image we want to use. So for this image, I'm going to come down here and upload image, the same process of uploading your image. So for this particular scene, let's take, for example, this girl and the mother. While that is generating, we are going to write our voice over style instruction. So voice over style instruction. So this is going to be for the girl, for the girl. You can see that you need to specify that. So this is going to be for the girl. So we'll go to chat GPT and then we'll copy for the girl child. You know what is in your own image. So you know how to give your own description. So this is for the girl, girl child. So we are going to enter the girl child there and put it in a quote. Then we'll come down and enter um, voiceover style instruction for the mother. Put a semicolon and then we'll go to chat GPT. We'll copy for the mother come down here and add the mother now you need to go down and then give a um, dialogue description of what you want them to say so she's asking what are we going to eat this morning all right so let's go down and say okay so since this video will only give you seven seconds what you are going to do will generate for the girl child first and then we'll add the mother dialogue in between all right so let's send this and see the outcome of what we are going to get if you are getting value from this video like the video now and drop a comment under this video subscribe to the channel to stay updated on my upcoming videos now our video is ready let's take a look at the video mommy what are we going to eat this morning don't worry my dear we'll find something nice okay you can see how cool that video is now let's go ahead to generate the second video and let's see if the voices is going to be the same so for this um particular example okay for the girl child so the girl child doesn't say anything so we are going to say mother take this money so add that and then for this girl child we don't want her to say anything so we just have to remove that so let's download this first video and then let's send this and see the outcome of this video take this money and go to the market to get three tubers of yam so that we can cook so you can see how that voice sounds like now. If you watch the first video generated. Mommy, what are we going to eat this morning? Don't worry, my dear. We'll find something now. And also watch the second video generated. Take this money and go to the market to get three tubers of yam so that we can cook. You notice that the voices are the same. In my previous video, I did my very best to explain in detail how you can create this style of animated video with consistent character for completely free. You can do where to go and watch that video. I'll leave the link to that video in the comment section of this video and also in the description of this video. If you need a one-on-one -on -one training also, you can let me know. My WhatsApp number is in the description of this video. So this is how you keep your voice consistent all through your uh, videos. You need to make sure that you maintain the same voice over style instruction in all your um, scene generation. Let me know in the comment section which video you want me to create next and I'm going to do my best to explain in detail for you on how to work that.